The Halo 2 PC Flighting has recently been released and I got a chance to play a good amount of this so I'm going to give you guys all the details of the content that's involved with this flight, the schedule of this flight, and when it will end. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button or if you learned something from it because it greatly helped out the video and channel a lot. Helps more people to get a chance to see this video and stay more in the know when it comes to everything with involving Halo. So April 17th, we got a chance to be able to play the Halo 2 flighting process for us guys for the public flight Ring 3 finally came out and I sunk my teeth in a solid amount when it came with this release. I jumped in and played some campaign, I played some multiplayer, I played some multiplayer with friends as well. We, you know, all my Twitch streams, so if you guys want to follow me on Twitch where I will be streaming this quite often, check out the link in the description down below. Give you a link right there to go uh, give a channel a follow and hopefully support uh, me in other platforms. Though I know quite a few of you probably didn't get an invite or may don't know how to accept your invites when it comes to this flying process so in this video i'm going to give you all the step-by-step -step processes you need to look out for okay guys so first thing when i got this invite i was checking my emails over and over again wasn't getting an email so apparently with this time with the invites what they're doing is sending a notification that you got invited and then you go to halo waypoint to accept your invite and get the information that you need but uh, for me, uh, it seemed like the emails were rolling out a bit later than your actual invites to Halo Waypoint. So what I did is that I went to halowaypoint.com, signed in. As you can see, I'm signed in up here in the upper right. And over here, you check out your messages. Boom, that's where my flight notification is right there. Top of the things you could possibly read in your messages. You click on that, it will give you your either your Steam code you need to type in to be able to download it or your Windows Store access as well. So again, guys, check up on Halo Waypoint if you got invited because you might have not even gotten your emails in the first place and they might have gone to your spam. Just go to Halo Waypoint. Trust me, it's a lot easier, much more straightforward. So in this video, I'm also gonna go over the new features that are gonna be in the slide. That's the challenge system customization for Halo 2, Halo 2 Anniversary Theater mode that's in Halo 2 Anniversary for mouse and keyboard as well. So let's jump right into that. All right, so here we are. We're in the PC flighting awesomeness. And uh, so let's check out the create section. This is where you'll find your theater mode right here and then you can check out my recent games uh for some reason it's only showing one recent game that was my very last game that i played so uh keep that in mind guys if you're gonna be playing the slight you want to save a clip or something like that do it right after you finish the match because it seems like it doesn't save more than just the one clip let's jump in play around a little bit see what the controls are like and see how theater mode finally plays out in the mcc on pc this is the first time it's ever happened Okay, so we can see here it's a very pretty much the exact same interface as we had previously with the theater mode. We can pause it right here. So if we check out the key bindings real quick, we see the different features of ascending, descending, toggle panel, which was the you know the stop and play kind of interface right there, uh, and also same thing with toggle interface right there for a different key. Uh, toggle first person, third person to come cap back in and out of your first person, third person views. Camera recess if you want to just bring it back to where you were before. Jump forward, press right. Jump, jump back, you go left. Oh, I'm guessing on the arrow keys right there. Uh, pause would be enter. Fast forward would be E. Uh, toggle face cam, free cam, which would be space so you can help kind of move around however you feel like. Really helps getting some good screenshots in and zooming. Uh, and then panning, I have it set to left control. I believe uh, when it started out, it didn't have an actual uh, key bound to it. So let's show up the third person here. Kind of jump around, check around. So like, you can kind of see. It does feel a bit more, uh, not necessarily janky, but just like a little bit more um, rigid than you would expect with a controller. Now I'm moving around here with my mouse and keyboard as well. And so we can kind of get a nice little uh, zoom in right here. Just kind of get a nice little view shot right here. Like that's a pretty solid screenshot. I don't know about you guys. I'm kind of digging that one right there. Like, come on, you'd see that screenshot right there on Halo Waypoint, wouldn't you? <laughs> Now, it does seem like uh, using WASD keys, you just have full motion. It's very, it feels very angular, not very smooth like you can get with the controller, which is definitely one spot right there. But I actually kind of want to grab a screenshot of this right now because that looks pretty freaking sweet right there. Um, and now you can also zoom in and out using your zoom in click button that you would normally use. So honestly, after playing around with this for just a little bit, I honestly would 
probably prefer a controller as I feel like it gives you a little bit more customization when it comes to the, uh, your movement of the camera where you can get very specific mo movements. Like where you can see how janky, like I'm just tapping these buttons. You can see how drastic the movement is between the two button presses. If there's a way to kind of have like a, maybe like hold down left control and do like half the uh, input presses or something like that to kind of help smooth that out a little bit would be really appreciated, at least for when it comes to theater mode. But you actually can see right now, as it plays, hit the play button right here, that it looks pretty smooth. Like it looks like I'm playing Halo 2. Anniversary, get a nice little triple kill. Looks pretty dang awesome. But the plus one, obviously. Didn't count for the overkill, sadly, when I was playing this. But I did clip it, so it looks pretty good, right? Now, another part I'm sure a lot of you guys are very considered about or concerned about is the challenge system that's coming into the MCC with Halo 2 releases. And I'm super excited about it. It would definitely give me much more reason to jump in and play the game more often. And so I've been looking around trying to find this challenge system, guys, and there's no way for me to track my uh, challenges to know what I need to do for challenges or anything like that. And so, sadly enough, that's not in the UI. But you do unlock your challenges though. I played Cairo Station on Legendary and it gave me plenty of notifications in game saying I completed the challenge of like doing a mission on Legendary, uh, doing a mission on Normal, do a mission on Halo 2 Anniversary, things like that. And so they're in the game. You just can't track them at the moment. I'm hoping later on in this flight that we'll be getting a chance to actually kind of scroll through and see the UI of what it would look like. And also another thing I wanted to mention guys is I had really big hopes for a new season for Halo 2 coming around. And with this flight at least, we do not have a new season. As you can see, it's still the Noble season. Hopefully maybe later on in the flight, they will release the like Halo 2 version of the season or whatever. If they do, I definitely will make a video on that. But at the moment, it's just kind of like what you've seen previously when it comes to Halo. So let's jump into customization though, because I'm sure a lot of guys are curious. I, know I did speculate a little bit, especially with Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary, possibly having female Spartans, which weren't in previously. So we can check out Halo 2 Classic. You can see this is what uh, your Halo 2 Spartan looks like rendered in Unreal Engine 4 for this presentation and it looks pretty freaking awesome way better than in game honestly to be to be real here it looks freaking great now the reason why i speculate about male and female spartans because if you see the body type icon in the upper left hand corner you see a male spartan you see a female spartan and then you see an elite so i figured that well if you have a male and female spartan here maybe you can choose your gender if you want to call it that <laughs> for your spartan and uh sadly enough you can't right now you either choose a spartan or you choose an elite elite again also looks pretty freaking awesome with the customization in this and uh, again it's a little bit better customization as you can choose your primary and secondary colors uh, but you can see all the different colors right here and kind of cycle through they're all pretty much the same colors that you had back in the good old Halo 2 days, which is great. Uh, and then in Halo 2 Anniversary, you have a different set of armor right here. You can have, yeah, see, you have armor you can choose from, body types, and colors. I was kind of hoping they maybe be able to break up the armor pieces so you can maybe mix and match what you like, but looking in very similar to what you see for the regular Halo 2 Anniversary, you either have the Mark VI armor, you have the Centurion, and you have the Hoplite. Uh, you can also check out the... Uh, different kind of elite armor right here as well. You just have your standard elite you can choose from, your outrider, and your invader armor. Same thing as you could back in the original Master Chief collection. Again, I can just choose regular elite because it looks most like the classic elite face and model that I like the most. Again, body types, you just choose elite, Spartan and uh, primary and secondary colors. That's all you get for the customization there. For here, we also have Halo 2 Anniversary Campaign. And you can check out the different kind of missions we have here. Like I mentioned before, in previous videos, we have Cairo Station, Metropolis, Oracle, Delta Halo. And if I can select, there we go. <laughs> Quarantine Zone, Brave Mind. And those are all the missions we can choose from at the moment. I played a little bit of conversation, speed ran that on my Twitch stream. If you want to check it out, link in the description down below. Uh, these are, these that and Metropolis are so far my two favorite ones I like to speed run. Obviously, there are different ones you can play. I really like playing Delta Halo because the visuals on that just look absolutely amazing. Now for multiplayer, we have our social, competitive, and custom game multiplayer, kind of what you would expect right there. For social, it's a little different though. 
Each day, we're going to be alternating different types of social game types being available for us to play. You can see in this uh, little schedule right here is that we mix it up between uh, basically 44, 18 battle and 2v2s. So the first day is going to be 4v4s and next day is going to be 8v8s. Next day, 4v4s, 2v2s, 8v8s, 4v4s. I will put this in the description down below so you can just kind of go back to this video and refer to it. And also don't also remember that each day is going to be Halo 2 Classic Team Hardcore every single day up until the 27th, which is going to, well, I'm going to get into a little bit later in this video. And of course, again, you have your custom games for Halo 2, Halo 2 Classic and Halo 2 Anniversary. Now there are known bugs going into this flight as well. Uh, 343 has detailed them in their uh, Halo support website, which I will definitely make another video talking about that so you guys kind of know exactly what we're talking about. That'll be tomorrow's video going up as well. And uh, so far I got a chance to play this a lot. It feels really good. I uh, know you guys have probably had a lot of big questions. Is there a difference between controller and mouse and keyboard when it comes to this game? I think it'll be less significant than it is in Reach because uh, definitely became a big issue with Reach Hardcore because a lot of the gunfights you get into Reach were much more close quarters, the mid range kind of gunfights where that's where the optimal locate range of where the uh, aim assist takes advantage. And if you're playing BTB, there really isn't much of an advantage at all when it comes to aim assist when it compared to uh, controller versus mouse and keyboard. I wasn't really noticing much of an advantage. If I was, if I died in a you know way I wouldn't expect normally die and play on a controller, I normally just chalked up this me kind of getting back into the swing of things of using mouse and keyboard on PC. Also remember to round off the flights that they state here that the flight will be taking place from April 17th until April 26th. Then on April 27th, the flight will conclude at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So they got a small little window of about 10 days to jump in and play some Halo 2 on PC. So far, this flight is pretty damn awesome. I'm really enjoying it, guys. I will definitely be streaming it a lot more, making more content on it. So if you guys want to stay up to date on this channel, make sure you tap subscribe to keep yourselves update on this channel, guys. And so you'll get to know everything that's happening with the Halo franchise as a whole. If you like this video, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. If you're new to the channel or miss any content for me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. <laughs> get links to my recent videos and also a, play a playlist of recent recent news videos if you've been on the loop for the last few days or so. Make sure to tap subscribe to keep yourself up, up to date with all, the, all things going on in Halo. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.